What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Evans Wrestling right here on YouTube. Today, I got a review for you guys. It is the it is a review of WrestleMania 10. I'm gonna be reviewing that pay per view right here for you guys. WrestleMania 10 was March 20th, 1994, from Madison Square Garden in New York City. Tagline for the show was 10 years in the making. WrestleMania kicked off with Vince McMahon introducing Little Richard to sing the to sing America the Beautiful. The first matchup of the show, it is a brother versus brother match when two brothers, Brett and Bret Hart, goes one on one with his younger brother Owen Hart. Now right off the bat, this match was a fantastic opener. Uh one of the greatest uh, WrestleMania matches of all time. Bret and Owen, two tremendous superstars. Uh, both Chris Sally cut short due to uh, certain circumstances. But anyway, Bret and Owen Hart had a fantastic matchup. Uh, in the end, Bret goes for a victory roll on Owen, but Owen blocks it, pulls Bret forward. As Brett is on Owen's shoulders, pulls him forward, has his legs, one, two, three, and Owen Hart upsets his big brother, Bret Hart, in defeating his brother in the first match of WrestleMania 10. This match was awesome. This, ma this match was exciting. It was fantastic. Uh, one of the greatest wrestling matches of all time. So yes, Bret and Owen Hart, five stars. Love it. Next next match, I really don't have anything to say about this because this match was complete garbage. Uh, it was a it, it was a tag team match when the uh, when the tag team of Bam Bam Bigelow and Luna Vachon go one on one with Doink the Clown and Dink the Clown. I'm just gonna say di uh, Bam Bam hits a diving headbutt on Doink one two three and uh, Bam Bam and Luna get the win over Doink and Dink. That was basically it. His match sucked. Next match, it is a Falls Count Anywhere match when two former friends, Macho Man Randy Savage and Crush, go head to head in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Uh, this match, this was a great match. Uh, Randy and Crush beat the hell out of each other. Uh, but in the end, uh, Randy Savage would hang uh, Crush by the legs on a pulley system. Referee was counting because the two superstars at 10 seconds get back in the ring. Macho Man Randy Savage was able to get back in the ring, but Crush was it was not able to. Randy Savage decks Mr. Fuji off off the apron, and the referee counts to 10. And Macho Man Randy Savage gets a victory over his former friend and bitter rival Crush. So yes, like I said, fantastic, uh, fantastic match, great match. Next match it is for the women's championship when the champion Alundra Blaze defends her championship against Leilani Kai. Now, I gotta be honest, this match, uh, this didn't click. Uh, so in the end, uh, Alundra hits a German suplex on Kai, one, two, three, and Alundra Blaze retains the women's championship. Yeah, this match just didn't click. I really didn't like it. It's really not a good match. Next match, it is for the Tag Team Championships when the champions, the Quebecers with Johnny Polo, take on the team of Mabel and Moe with Oscar, men on a mission. Uh, this match, this match, same as the women's title match, didn't click with me. I really didn't like it. Uh, in the end, uh, the Quebecers hit an assist, assisted senton on Mabel. But Mabel would uh, kick out. Polo would get involved. Uh, and the Quebecers uh, would be counted out. Uh, so men on a mission win by count out. But they did not win the championships. But in the end they celebrated with the titles like they won it. I don't know why they didn't win it. So, so yeah men on a mission versus Quebecers. I don't know. It just didn't click. I really didn't like it. 
next match. It is the first WWF title match of the night. As you guys know, Bret Hart and Lex Luger uh, were co-winners of the Royal Rumble in 94. And they both got a shot at Yokozuna for the WWF title. Lex Luger had won a coin toss. Uh, and was and was uh, won the opportunity to face Yokozuna first. Now, I gotta be honest, actually, Yoko and Lex uh, was actually a pretty good match. Also, Mr. Perfect was the special guest referee. I actually liked the match. Uh, Luger and Yoko put on a good match. Put on, put on an okay match. Uh, in the end, Luger knocks out Yoko with the for, with with his forearm. Lex uh, attacks both Jim Cornette and Mr. Fuji, who is trying to uh, distract Perfect and, and Perfect Le is trying is trying to distract Perfect and Lex. Uh, but Lex Luger takes him out. Mr. Perfect tries to get them off the uh, the apron. But Lex Luger has the cover, and Mr. Perfect is not counting. So Lex Luger gets up, goes over to Mr. Perfect, turns him around, shoves him a little bit, telling him to get over here and count the pin. But Mr. Perfect is like, uh, he's pointing to his shirt. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Perfect had disqualified Lex Luger for putting his hands on an official. So Yoko is still the WWF champion by a disqualification. Mr. Perfect uh, walks off. Lex goes after him, uh, wondering uh, what the hell was that and why didn't he, why didn't he count? Mr. Perfect saying, "Cause you put your hands on an official and uh, you, he wasn't supposed to." So yes, Yokozuna retains the WWE title by a disqualification. Like I said, it was it was a it was a okay good match. This next match was a squash match. It was Adam Bomb with Harvey Whippleman versus Earthquake. Uh, all this was was Earthquake uh, hit the Earthquake splash on Adam Bomb. One, two, three, and Earthquake uh, defeats Adam Bomb. Yeah, it w it was a short match. It was it wasn't really that good. The next match it is a is the infamous ladder match for the Intercontinental cha Championship when the champion. The bad guy, Razor Ramon, defends his Intercontinental Championship against the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, with Big Daddy Cool Diesel. This match was fantastic. This match was epic. It was awesome. It's one of the greatest wrestling matches of all time, in my opinion. Uh, Shawn and Razor, two uh, two greats. Uh, during the match, Shawn uh, be, uh, takes out Razor with the ladder a few times. Uh, Sean gets uh, slingshotted into the ladder. Um, Shawn Michaels uh, goes to the top of the ladder, hits a big old splash on the Razor Ramon. Uh, Sean is up going for the titles, but Razor Ramon runs into the ladder, knocking Sean off the t off the ladder. Sean uh, crotches himself on the top on the top rope. Sean gets his foot tangled in the ropes, and Razor Ramon climbs up the ladder. Uh, as Shawn Michaels uh, uh, was able to get free, Shawn Michaels, uh, uh, as Shawn Michaels was able to get free, Razor Ramon had already pulled the titles down, and Razor Ramon is still and new Intercontinental Champion. So yes, like I said, fantastic match. It was, this was a great match, a great ladder match. So yes, and now it is time for the main event of the evening. It is the second WWF Championship match when the champion Yokozuna defends his championship against the hitman Bret Hart with Rowdy Roddy Piper as the special guest referee. Um, honestly, for me, I actually like this match. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, Bret and Yoko, two more greats. Um, in this match, Yoko, uh, in the end, uh, Yoko would go for the bonsai drop, but Yokozuna would lose his balance and would uh, fall backwards onto the mat. That would uh, lead uh, Bret Hart to able to grab Yoko's leg, pull it up, 
Roddy Piper counts one, two, three, and Brett the Hitman Hart is your new WWF champion. In the end, uh, all the good guys come out and they hold Brett up. They celebrate with Brett. Brett celebrates. Uh, Owen comes out and uh, Owen standing uh, in the in the apron looking at Brett, uh, disappointed because Brett won the title. After Owen had beat him earlier in the night. Everybody comes up celebrating with Brett. You know, Vince McMahon, commentators, ref wrestlers, the, the guest, the celebrity guest at the show coming up and congratulating Brett. And they hold Brett up and Brett, and they all celebrate. In a good moment, Bret Hart is the new WWF champion. And Bret Hart celebrates with the good guys and... That's and that is and that's pretty and then fade to black and that's that is the end of WrestleMania 10. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions you would like me to answer, put it in the comment section down below. It it can be anything. I'll answer anything. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and X at Evans Wrestling. Don't forget to subscribe to Evans Wrestling here on YouTube because I got a lot more great uh, uh, videos coming your guys' way. So be on the lookout. And yes, hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.